Today's video star is Minda 3D Medition X. This is a budget printer. If you back this printer on Kickstarter, you will get this for $279. Cheap. But this printer is absolutely outstanding. Magician X has features that even some high-end printers don't have. Like 100% full automatic bed leveling. I can recommend this printer to everybody. Why? You will see this in the upcoming video. The box was so light, it was hard to believe something was in there. Especially 3D printer. Inside this box was... another box. And inside this box, what was inside the other box? Of course there is a 3D printer. In due parts. And all accessories and tools. Everything what you need for printing and assembly is included. The printer goes together really easily. Top piece goes on top of the bottom piece and they will screw together with six bolts. Those bigger bolts go through the bottom of the 3D printer. I carefully turn this printer to the side to have access to screw those in. When those bolts are nicely in place, then those smaller ones go to the side of the printer, two for both sides. Basically, this is whole assembly. Now it's time for wiring. It's just so easy, you cannot mess this up. This is the cover for this nice little storage box and spool holder. You can choose what side you want to mount this. And this belt tensioning thing, I didn't have this knob for some weird reason, so I had to screw my own M4 nut here. But now it's time to turn this printer on and let's start printing. Actually the first thing to do is bed leveling. Anyway, it's the first thing what I wanna test with this printer. The printer preheat itself before leveling. It's good because materials expand when they are heated and the bed leveling will be more accurate. And by the way, the bed leveling is 100% automatic. Okay, it looks good. If this is really working, it will be just amazing feature. The bed should be leveled now. For the first print, I'm using the filament that came with the printer. And first print will be a model that came with the SD card. I have no idea what it will be. So far it looks the bed is absolutely perfectly leveled. The first print is ready. I still have no idea what it is, but this turns out really nice I can say. I slice now my own model with Cura and I'm using still the same filament. It's my second print, but things what I can say already is this printer is quiet, this printer is pretty fast and the touchscreen is really responsive. And the automatic bed leveling seems to work really nice. The print is done and looks good, but we take a closer look at this model a bit later because I want to try TPU filament so hard. I did a fast filament change, by the way changing the filament is also automatic, you have to press only load and unload. Printing with TPU went really well at the beginning, still it started madly warping. 
but it happened because this filament is cheap low quality piece of shit. I built high quality ESAN ESAN TPU and tried to print this model again and this time I succeeded and this print turned out really well. So this printer has no problem printing with flexible filaments. Sadly I don't have something like Ninja Flex what is really really flexible but I believe this printer handled this really well. We have done 3 prints and we will print more but let's take a moment to speak about this printer features. This printer has 230 x 230 x 260 printing volume and the bed is heated. The maximum operation temperature is 110 degrees. The maximum nozzle temperature is 250 degrees. So you can easily print PLA, PTG, TPU and if you build an enclosure you can print even ABS and ASA. The feature that makes this printer special is 100% automatic bed leveling. This is something that you don't find on 3D printers really often. And if so, probably only high end not affordable printers. Having this under 300 dollar or euros is mind blowing. Assembly is really easy, we saw this at the beginning of the video. Double gear direct drive extruder. It's not rare thing, but at this price point, not so easy to find. Ultra silent printing. I agree, this printer is quiet. Glass bed with this texture helps to stick better and later release the model easily. So far it seems to work. Filament holder for the left or right. This printer has a filament runout detector and oh, this one is good thing. C axis has two stepper motors and the top is this belt that holds X axis both sides always at the same level. I have never seen this before but it's absolutely clever touch. What we have more, built in toolbox, belt tensioner and this printer supports USB stick, SD card and even USB C. Those are the features from the official page, but I love to add something. This printer is fast, it can handle pretty high printing speed, plus hot end and bed will heat up really quickly. You can change print settings in the middle of the print, you don't need to pause the print or something, when the printing is happening you can tweak the settings, you can even rise or lower C axis. This is especially handy when you see that the print bed isn't perfectly leveled, you can baby step this up or down a bit. Like I told before, the box where it came was really light, the printer itself is truly light, touchscreen is really responsive and the user interface is really easy to use. I like that buttons are big and away from each other, I haven't experienced that I go accidentally push wrong button. And the last thing what I want to mention is printer body is made of plastic and metal, the parts that are under the stress are still made of metal, such as X and A axis rails. In my opinion using plastic isn't bad idea, at all. It reduces weight and it looks a bit different, and good way. Plus Minda 3D told me that they have tested plastic frame for more than 6 months and there is no negative effect for printing, safety and reliability. But enough of speaking, let's print something. I'm really satisfied with this printer and those prints. And with automatic bed leveling also, it works like a charm. Let's take a closer look at those models. I cannot help myself, I had to print one gear. Here is nothing special really well printed, gear like gear should be. And this is my second print. You know, this is a pretty difficult model and there are some overhangs that need a little bit support. So there is a little in, in, in imperfections. But the small details are there, overall it turned out nice. And by the way the filament I used here, uh, what came from the box, isn't uh, really high quality. And of course I printed a benchy boat. Now I used high quality filament and it's just amazing. Those only things that isn't absolutely perfect is those overhangs. Maybe the print cooling isn't the best but it still do the job. But this benchy, all sides are sharp, small details are there and both hull mwah. The next print is for testing the printer accuracy. After printing I had to break this loose and yep, the printer has done again an amazing job. Because I love to print with this printer hard, I do one last print, for this video I mean, after video I probably use this printer every day. But I printed Empire State Building. I print this with 90mm uh, per second. 
so it's pretty fast, twice higher speed than I'm usually using. And this model has small details, so let's look how this printer can handle it. Do I even have to say something? It's absolutely perfect. I am so happy with this printer. So what I like with this printer and what I don't. I say only what I like the most otherwise the video will be 10 minutes longer. First, automatic bed leveling. This feature saves you a lot of time and brain cells. And it works like a charm. Second, quality prints. In this video we saw that this printer can produce outstanding prints. Third, price. This printer will cost somewhere $300 or euros when it will be released. Fourth, this printer is really silent. And what I don't like, I'm honest with you, considering that this printer will cost around 300 euros or dollars, I have nothing to complain about, really. So should you buy this printer? Yes, you will be amazed with this printer performance, but if you are watching this video before September 2021, you cannot buy this yet, because the printer is not released. You can back this printer on Kickstarter and you will get this printer with $279 and they start shipping at October 21. But sadly, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this printer, I definitely did. Thank you for watching and see you guys really soon. Bye.